Hey guys, it turns out we did get a new trailer for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot at Gamescom for the Cell Saga, as well as some new information on the game. I'm going to have the trailer up playing in the background to discuss the video, but I won't have any sound turned on. So if you want to see the original trailer with the sound, I'll have a link down below or just check out Bandai Namco's channel. Anyways, I was absolutely blown away at the trailer, it actually gave me chills. It's so emotional and honestly, I think this game might tell the Dragon Ball story better than the anime or manga ever could. The animation and art looks gorgeous. I'm actually getting super pumped for the game to come out, 2020 couldn't come soon enough. Something I also really like is the gameplay looks just as good as the cutscenes and the transitions between the two look seamless. My favourite part of the trailer is easily when Goku and Gohan do the father-son Kamehameha together. But part of me does wish they didn't show that in the trailer so I could experience it for the first time in the game. In terms of new information, the trailer actually shows a lot. We definitely see what the developers mean by the all new canon story. We see a lot of interaction with Goku and Gohan that we've never seen before in the manga slash anime. It looks like they're really going to build and flesh out the father-son dynamic with Gohan and Goku in ways we haven't seen before. Benai also shows off a fair bit of gameplay in the trailer as well. We see a lot more of the battle UI with options to use items mid-fight, super attacks as well as being able to transform. It reminds me a lot of Xenoverse 2 which isn't a bad thing. We also get another glimpse at just how big the world scale seems to be when we see Goku and Gohan flying over the city. It's got me really excited, being able to explore the whole Dragon Ball universe in such a massive scale sounds really awesome. We haven't had a game like this since the legacy of Goku slash Boo's Fury series, so getting a 3D spiritual successor of sorts is pretty cool. We also see the car driving minigame for a second in the trailer, which is probably everyone's favourite filler episode from the anime. I can already tell this game is probably going to be my 2020 game of the year, and the trailers are already getting me emotional. I do wish we saw a bit of future trunks in the video, but I do understand them focusing on Gohan for marketing, because the game is called Kakarot. If we're lucky, we might see some Future Trunks gameplay in the demos at Gamescom. On the topic of Future Trunks though, we do have Scan to show off his design in-game and he's looking clean as hell. I'm hoping some other YouTubers or something post some demo gameplay footage from Gamescom if they can. Finally, I want to talk about the Boo Saga. It has already been confirmed by Sean Chamel, so I'm really excited to see how they handle it. I'm going to guess that we'll probably get Trunks and Goten as playable characters, and then obviously the fusions, Vegeta and Gotenks as part of that. Boo Saga is one of my favourite arcs in Dragon Ball, so I'm really excited to see how they can build on that. After Gamescom is over, I do plan to do a more in-depth video and analysis on the new trailer and any new information. Anyways, thank you guys for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed the trailer and don't forget to leave a like if you want to see more Dragon Ball content in the future. See ya!